This was a ship that put to sea. The this is how it started. Was a belly of tea. The winds blew up. A Scottish postman recording Wellerman, a sailing song known as a sea shanty, songs that stretch back hundreds of years. And this is how it's going. Soon may the Wellerman come. And going. And going. Let true love not be torn apart. This great big sea musician always called himself the shanty man. And my my kids who were in their teens, 15 and 13, they were kind of like, oh, that's so lame, Dad, you know. And and all of a sudden, two days <laughs> ago, I became the cool dad. Far from our native soil. He says the songs, which were sometimes a form of protest, resurface in times of trouble. And much like the sailors of old that were in the sea, they were at the mercy of the sea and had very little control of their fate. And maybe that's the longing you hear. That sense of longing is now cross-cultural. When this Houston nursing student saw what his brother was singing, he had to start recording. I was going to roast him. I'm like, bro, this boy always playing some weird music. <laughs> but soon he was singing. To bring us sugar and tea and rum. Their TikTok has now been seen over five million times. Why? It reminds you of the time before COVID, before when we were all together, you know, just, you know, singing whatever song you were singing, just together. CBC host and musician Tom Power says the songs were actually created for a purpose. They were meant so that you could time hauling up a trap. You could time mm. pulling a rope. Now it's serving a new one. Instead of lifting a rope all at the same time off a, a barge, we're trying to get through this pandemic together. And it's Romy, boy, boys. Lifted by a sea of songs, centuries old. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.